Over the weekend, Blackmagic dropped a pretty big bomb on everyone here in the filmmaking and creative space. Not only did they hit us with the release of things like DaVinci Resolve 19, some new Ursa models, they also hit us with probably the most talked about camera in the past three days, and that is the Pixis 6K. Why would this camera be so important? Well, if you've been a Blackmagic fan for any amount of time, you're probably privy to the fact that Blackmagic have traditionally not made box style cameras other than the Ursa line and a few other studio models. When it comes to the actual pocket line, these have always been a fairly ugly design. As much as I love my 6K Pro, it's not very fun to look at. It works, it has great features and great capabilities, but not having a traditional box design is kind of a bummer. This is where the Pixis comes in and really where things get weird because as a lot of creatives probably collectively think, myself included, the Pixis could have been a camera that truly did take the place of the pocket line. I don't think that Blackmagic had that same thing in mind though. And the reason I say that is the Pixis is lacking a few things like the ability to record ProRes. It's lacking internal NDs. It only has an SDI out for monitoring. It only has one XLR input. Little things like that that make this camera, well, weird. It, it's a weird offering from Blackmagic. As weird as this camera is though, I do believe that it's awesome that Blackmagic has finally listened to its users and are at least entertaining the box form factor. I think this is gonna be something that is massive for creators moving forward. On the other side of that token, I think that this is exciting for one-off projects like the Nexus Project. If you're familiar with the Nexus Project, uh, this is a man who has taken the pocket line of cameras and put it into box form. And I don't think that he's done with the final iteration, but if you're in the Blackmagic group on say Facebook, or I believe he has a Discord as well, and are following the Nexus project, to me it's exciting to have the pocket cameras in box form. So just to really end this quick rant, where do I think that the Pixa 6K actually falls in line within the Blackmagic family? I actually think this is a pretty good corporate workflow camera. If you're doing like traditional sit and lit interviews, I can see this being a very useful tool, especially if you have a camera operator on your team. Do I think that it's gonna be as good of a run and gun camera as say the Pocket 6Ks are? Probably not. And for me, it really boils down to the lack of internal NDs. I'm not complaining about that because a lot of cameras that I use, like the S5 Mark II, my S1, and many cameras in the past have not had internal NDs. Not a big issue for me. However, when it comes to convenience, the convenience of having the internal NDs here on the 6K Pro, as well as within the Ursa line, I believe make that camera a little less enticing for a run and gun filmmaker. And that kind of completes my thought. I mean, I just wanted to kind of ramble about the Pixis a little bit. And again, I think that it's an exciting thing for Blackmagic that they've released this. I think it's exciting for us as the consumers to Blackmagic. Again, the fact that they're just listening and, and finally making box form for the smaller cinema line. But it's also a little weird and I think it's gonna take some time for them to either A, add some features like ProRes, which would be really, really handy. I've really enjoyed shooting actually 1080 ProRes here on the Pocket 6K Pro. Uh, it's a very good workflow, easy on the data. So I think it's gonna take some time for Blackmagic to really dial in what a consumer or prosumer box style cinema camera looks like. But I think it's fun that they're even entertaining it for us. And I know a lot of our creative friends are out at NAB right now. I look forward to seeing their test footage from it. I'm hoping that some of our favorites can get their hands on the Pixis so that we can see some test footage and eventually I would like to get my hands on the Pixis to see how it works within my workflow. One video that I am gonna link down in the description below was a video that I watched from News Shooters where they did an interview with Blackmagic and kind of worked through the quirks of the Pixis, which was cool to hear it from Blackmagic's point of view, the reason they designed the camera the way that they did. As always, thank you for being a part of this channel. I love growing this community here on YouTube. Y'all have a good one and we will see you in the next.